Welcome. Before I start yapping about uh, what this video is going to be about, I gotta say this. If it's your first time here, you will notice that uh, the rest of my videos are in a different language, uh, which is Polish. So this is just kind of a test video. Decided to switch from Polish to English see how many hits this video gets after all english is the most spoken language in the world so for my uh, polish only viewers sorry anyways today we are going to work on this 06 subaru wrx sti engine is stock stock turbo four inch downpipe coming down to three inches then the axle back is two and a half short ram intake wastegate solenoid which provides super quick spool up this thing is at full spool at about 2.5 maybe even 2.4 rpms in third fourth gear strut bar up top as far as suspension goes white line solid sway bars front and back there's also an H brace I will show that later uh, under the engine cradle and as far as brakes and this is part of what we're going to be working on today we're basically taking stuff apart steel braided brake lines I don't know which brand uh, Hawk HP plus brake pads which at this point are burnt they you can see they did turn white now there is a i'm going to put up a link on the video if i find out how to do it or in the description below basically showing what happened the the front brakes caught fire or flames coming out during a open track day you can check it out it is something to see but that video is in polish if actually if the other videos uh, might interest you let me know in the comments below i may consider doing a voiceover in english obviously also stands aluminum coilovers talking about brakes you can see these are also they got super hot you can kind of see the reddish color on the rotor on the bottom there and these pads gotta go these are also HP pluses and the fluid brake fluid for sure boiled that's got to be replaced as well so we're basically taking front and rear brakes apart checking out the calipers if those are okay replacing pads I'm still debating on replacing the front rotors the rears I'm gonna cut or rotate whatever you call it uh, the fronts if I am gonna get new rotors, they're gonna be vented, drilled, maybe drilled, most likely slatted. And we're also gonna take the suspension apart and for sure replace the stands springs with some Swifts, which are softer. And I will explain why, why I'm going soft. Uh, that's gonna be later in the video. And also we are going to take the rear diff out and check it out, take it apart and see what's what it is making noise on turns uh, going forward and going backwards i do have a used ats uh, carbonetic uh, rear diff take the rear cover off basically check it out clean it up and most likely change the gearing this diff is from an 04 sti and this is an 06 i believe the although the final ratio final drive is 390 uh, i was told actually i didn't know i was told by a buddy of mine that the drive shift is 1 to 1.1 and if i were to install this 04 diff on the 06 i would eventually uh, blow up the center diff or something which would be bad and expensive news so I'm gonna take those two apart 
compare the gears, see if there's any difference. I bet you there is. Anyways, let's get to work. I didn't want to put on the lift. I want to keep the lift open in case something else comes in. And this is plenty good for what we got to do. Check this out, you got a little bit more work than anticipated, you can see the grease all over the control arm here, looks like the axle boot ripped open and grease started coming out as the axle spins, so gotta take the axle out and basically take it all apart, clean it up, put a new boot in, rebuild it. A little bonus, yay!
So the left side, no major issues like you saw on the rear right side, which is a bummer. Just the rotor wasn't easy to take off, but after some hammering, it did come off. Mind you, this is a 13 year old car. These were never taken off. It's getting hot in here. So now we gotta figure out a different way to take the diff out. You've noticed those long bolts holding the knuckle to the, what is it, the trailing arms. Uh, that did not budge at all. So I'm sure there's a different way. 